I found 13 of the best high income skills that are worth learning in 2024. So let's get right into it right after you gently cheers the like button with number one on the list, which is closing. Now this is a type of sales job, but it's at the very end of the sales process. So basically you're the last person they talk to in the sales process, and you're the person who is responsible for getting them to actually say yes and buy the product. And typically this is going to be for a higher ticket type of product. That's why you actually get people on the phone with you. There are tons of people out there that are making money doing this. For instance, this person right here on Reddit says they work about two to five hours a day as a remote closer and they make six figures a year. And this is not uncommon at all. So for instance, sales closers on Glassdoor make 90 to $155,000 a year. Then if you go one level above that, which is an account executive, and this is somebody who's basically responsible for an account or usually many different accounts, and they're responsible for keeping the person buying the product, you know, if it's on a month to month basis, or in some cases, even sending them to a higher level product, they make about 89 to $159,000 a year. So yeah, lots of opportunities here. Um, sales is probably the best skill you could possibly learn. It's the most useful skill in the entire world. World, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Very similar to this one is sales in general. So all of the other sales jobs that are in that process. So for instance, appointment setting would be a type of sales job. This is basically where you initiate the interaction with the prospect, then you qualify them to see if they're a good fit for the product. And then if they are, you pass them off to somebody else on the sales team typically. Another one would be a cold caller. This is somebody who basically cold calls different businesses to basically do that same process, but you're gonna be doing it right away on the phone. And yeah, you can make a lot of money with these positions as well. Typically, it's not quite as high paying as closing positions, but it still can be pretty good. So sales representatives, for instance, make about 79 to $143,000 a year. Another one that this one is commonly referred to is a BDR or SDR, which is business development representative or sales development representative. And yeah, this can be a really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. All right. So if you're exhausted with your nine to five, pay close attention. These were my earnings after a few months of doing YouTube when I was working as a full-time pharmacist. And a short time after that, I was making more from YouTube than I was at my pharmacist job. And because of this, I was able to quit my job, travel the world, and have time, freedom, and location independence. And I'm going to be doing a live training where I walk you through the five simple steps that enabled me to do this and how you can use these five steps to have success on YouTube as well. And if you sign up now, you can also get a free mini course that I will only be giving out during the live training. Now, the live training is is going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. And you can check the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below just to make sure we got the right time for you. Now, there is limited seating for the live training because it's actually going to be a live Zoom session with me. So we can only have so many people show up to it. So it's kind of a first come first serve type of thing. So definitely click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to reserve your spot. And to be honest with you, I usually charge $1,000 an hour for my consulting sessions. And these are the same types of things that I would tell people, but I'm giving this away to you for free. And there's also going to be a Q&A session where you can ask me any questions that you have about YouTube. Now, all of this will only be available during the live session. There's no replays and it's not going to happen anywhere else. So you absolutely have to show up to it. So make sure you click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You don't want to miss out on this. Also, make sure you put it in your calendar, mark out some time, make sure you're not busy so that you can fully pay attention and take notes. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be email marketing. Now, there's different types of email marketing, but this is basically marketing marketing where you get some kind of email in your inbox, they give some kind of value in the email. And then a lot of the time they'll give you an offer. And email marketing is still one of the absolute most profitable types of marketing. They estimate that for every $1 you spend on email marketing, you make somewhere between 35 and $40 back. So it's incredibly profitable. Now I think one of the most valuable skills you can learn within email marketing is what's called cold emailing. And this is basically where you send somebody who has no idea who you are an email. And this is done to either initiate the sales process, or network with them. And this is an incredibly valuable skill to learn because if you get really good at cold emailing, you can actually network with just about anybody in the world. And then of course, it's also really good for initiating the sales process as well. And email marketing specialists make about 53 to $81,000 a year. So yeah, another super valuable one. This falls under the umbrella category of digital marketing. And I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that my business partner, Seth and I have helped to get jobs. For instance, Brian was a 59 year old who was able to get a job. And Jay 
James was a 16 year old that was able to get a job. So if a 16 year old and a 59 year old can get a job, you can too. And the coolest thing is it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience to do this. So Seth does have a free masterclass, which you can check out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. It'll teach you what digital marketing is, the different types of digital marketing, how you can get into it and whether or not digital marketing is a good fit for you. So definitely check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be copywriting. And to be honest with you, this is one of my favorite things to do. I literally just do this for fun. And this is basically selling with the written word and it's being persuasive as well using the written word. And so if you're the type of person who enjoys writing, you are going to love copywriting. And there are copywriters out there that make a million dollars plus a year. For instance, Laura Belgray started a million dollar one person copywriting business and junior copywriters that get in more at an entry level position are going to be making 55 to $85,000 a year. Senior level copywriters make about 79 to $131,000 a year. So there's also some really good paying jobs as well. So yeah, copywriting is awesome. I think it's a super valuable skill to learn. Also for the right type of person, it's extremely fun. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about software development. Now, I think all of you know this software development coding, very valuable skill to learn. So I'm not going to go over it for too long. I've talked about this one extensively on this channel. But if you think about it, it's one of the best ways that you can use leverage. So one single person can create a website, an application or a piece of software that literally millions of of people can use. If you think about it, that's absolutely nuts. So the amount of leverage that you have with software development or coding is pretty much bigger than any other type of skill you can have. And that's why I've been teaching myself a little bit of software development the last few years. And it's honestly pretty fun as well. And software engineers, for instance, make 113 to $177,000 a year. Plus, there's a ton of other types of jobs out there that you can go into with coding. So yeah, this one's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Although I will say it's not for everyone. Next is going to be content creation. Now, as much leverage as software development gives you, which it does give you a tremendous amount of leverage, the truth is there's already a lot of people who create software out there that are allowing you to have that leverage in the first place. And one of the ways you can do this, for instance, is by creating content. So there are some really smart software developers that created things like YouTube, where you can create content and reach millions of people. And this is exactly what I did. So I was basically stuck working a nine to five job. I was working as a pharmacist. I was working during the pandemic. I was extremely stressed out working all the time. Then I started posting on YouTube. I started taking it seriously. And within a few months, I was making a full-time income on YouTube. Then I quit my job. I started making $30,000 a month, then $100,000 a month. And now I make several hundred thousand dollars a month from YouTube. And this is all while only having to work four hours per week in order to maintain my channel. So yeah, YouTube is incredibly lucrative. There's no other social media platform out there where people are literally making $100 million a year other than YouTube. And there are lots of people making $100 million a year on YouTube. And the coolest thing is you can literally just talk about what you already know or share your journey of learning something new. And you don't have to be a genius to do YouTube. I honestly think that anybody could do this because YouTube is all about authenticity and just sharing what you know with the world. So yeah, this one definitely gets a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. I'd be a hypocrite if I gave it anything other than that. And also I have some free training on exactly how I started, grew and monetized my YouTube channel, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Additionally, in that same link, there will be an option for you to apply for coaching from me. I only coach a few people every month, but not only have I grown my own successful YouTube channel, I've also helped a bunch of other people grow their YouTube channels as well. But I only work with people who are very serious about growing on YouTube. So you can apply for that by clicking that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be AI prompting. Now this is a skill that has just come around in the last few years. And this is basically how you communicate with AI. And this is a very specialized and valuable skill set. And it's not something that's well defined. So you can basically learn this very quickly and you can get into jobs very easily. And not only can you get jobs doing this, but you can also freelance or start your own business. So there's agencies, for instance, that will go into businesses, analyze their processes and see where they can fit AI into those businesses to streamline their processes and make them more efficient. And AI prompt engineers, according to Glassdoor, make 177 dollars to $272,000 a year. But even using AI to create content, you can make good money. So for instance, AI content creators make about 61 to $104,000 a year. So yeah, AI prompting, super valuable skill to learn. It's going to get even more valuable 
in the coming decade. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And honestly, I wanna give like all of these like a 9.5 or a 10, but they're all so good that I have to kind of, you know, do them relatively. But honestly, all of these are great and it really just depends on your personality. Now, another thing that's really similar to this is anything AI, machine learning, or deep learning related. So this would be a very advanced type of programming, but if you can learn anything related to AI, machine learning, or deep learning, holy cow, you're gonna be able to make a ton of money these next 10 years. It is absolutely ridiculous how valuable the skill set is right now. For instance, there's a story of this 33 year old who makes $250,000 a year as an AI research scientist. Machine learning engineers make about $126,000 to $187,000 a year. AI research scientists make on average about $137,000 to $199,000 a year. And yeah, there's also a lot of opportunities when it comes to freelancing, starting your own business, etc. So unbelievably valuable skill to learn. Also very difficult. You have to be big brain to learn this. And so for that reason, I'm going to have to dock it, you know, a point or two. I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. But if you are big brain, it can be great. All right. So next is going to be data analysis. So data, you've all heard it's more valuable than oil or gold. I think this is a little bit easier to learn than coding. It's also relatively easy to get into. Many people actually get into data analysis without getting a college degree. And in many cases, without having previous experience as well. You're a work experience. You're hired. Really? So yeah, really good one. Data analysts make 66 to $103,000 a year. Business analysts make 74 to $116,000 a year. And data scientists make 132 to $190,000 a year. So yeah, super valuable one to learn. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is project management. So project management is awesome because it's kind of like entrepreneurship with training wheels. You're basically responsible for launching and managing a project within a company. And so you're almost like a little mini CEO within the company. And you have to be able to wear a bunch of different people's hats and understand all of their jobs. So just as an example, there's this 21 year old who started off working at Facebook as a project manager at 17 years old. And four years later, as a 21 year old, he is now a millionaire. So yeah, project management, super valuable. Also, you can move into higher level roles after getting good at project management, such as operations manager or product manager. And you can even move into executive roles down the line. And project managers make about 78 to $129,000 a year. So yeah, project management, super valuable skill set to learn. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be anything to do with blockchain technology. Now this is a cryptocurrency, blockchain, etc. This is a massive industry and it's just getting bigger every single year. And just to give you an example of how much people can make with this, uh, here's a video of a blockchain dev that makes a million dollars a month. And so if you're going to learn software development and you're already passionate about cryptocurrency or blockchain, might as well learn blockchain development. And on average, blockchain developers make about 86 to $142,000 a year. And even blockchain consultants make about 95 to $168,000 a year. And that's not necessarily developer related. It could have more to do with the product side or the marketing side, et cetera. So yeah, super valuable skill set to learn. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be IT or cybersecurity. So this one is a little bit more boring, not gonna lie, but it's actually really easy to get into IT and then from IT you can get into cybersecurity and it is a super valuable skill. Now I've talked to my friends, uh, I've had friends that do IT, cybersecurity and software development. Most of them say that software development is a lot more fun than IT or cybersecurity. But with that being said, it is much easier to get into IT. So this is definitely one you should consider. Very easy to get into without a college degree or previous experience. So this is a great way to kind of get your foot in the door in the technology industry, especially the IT part. And then cybersecurity related jobs can pay extremely well. So yeah, this one, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And next is probably the most valuable skill you can learn if you really want to achieve financial location and time independence. And that is going to be entrepreneurship. So I, as a kid, got really into self-development. I was all about productivity and studying and working out and eating healthy and just improving myself. And that led me into entrepreneurship. And I have to say that entrepreneurship has been the thing that has helped me develop myself more than anything else because entrepreneurship will push you to your limits. And it's one of those things where you kind of have to dial everything else in in order to be successful. And so it really helps you to become your best self. And so even if you fail at entrepreneurship, I honestly think it's one of the most valuable things that you can do because it's going to help you to become your best self. And it's going to help you to become a better employee down the line because you think about things from the perspective of a business owner. And in order to become an entrepreneur, even try to become an entrepreneur, you have to have extreme self accountability. So I really love entrepreneurship 
entrepreneurship, uh, probably the most valuable skill you can learn. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. I think everyone should try it at least once. By the way, I made a video on 15 of the best skills to land a high paying remote job. And if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and click on this video right here and it'll take you there.